We're joined today by the dynamic duo that makes Bleacher Reports sneak this. It's a uh, was it, like a sketch comedy uh, show for sneakerheads. Uh, it stars two comedians, Rob Hayes and Jamel Johnson. They're joining us now. Um, so you're replacing us? Yeah. So this is an too. audition. So you're getting rid of Slam Dunk? Yeah. It, um, this is an audition. I'm trying to replace you two. Okay. I mean, I think we well, got a better dynamic, black and white. They're just dark skin, light skin. No, it's it not may, quite the it same. It makes for good racial tension, but, uh, you know. Wow. Wow. We're racial starting the show like this. <laughs> yeah, I, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, honestly, you probably have to be, like, the first light-skinned person we've had in the show in quite a long time, so. Okay. All right, Rob. There you breaking go. We, 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 I'm saying we're breaking hey, glass ceilings really around here. I think, I think, I I think you I might be. You really might be. He is. I, I no. don't want to discuss this. I don't. You know, I don't. <laughs> no, I mean honestly, like I mean, you know, light skinned people are in style right now. So you know, Drake is hot. Uh, who else? Drake. But Steph Curry uh, is always. Steph Curry, yeah. yeah, Steph Curry. Well, Steph Curry's Steph. taking the loss right now. So hey, right. look, Steph not Curry, Steph, but, uh, Steph Curry, mama, Daddy Curry. Yeah. So. Oh boy. I don't know if we want to touch on that. I do. Uh man. No. See. <laughs> see. See. <laughs> This is why we can't have yeah. nice things. Did you guys read the TMZ article? Yes. Bro, the, play, <laughs> the player stats of the other dude. I did not need to know he only played for three games for the Patriots. Like, Bro, I did not need to know that. That's what I'm saying. Like, that, like he's now more famous than he ever was when he played by virtue of who he allegedly sleeping with. Let me kind of introduce you guys. Uh, Rob is a comedian, actor, and television writer. Which is more lucrative than people imagine. Uh, and he has an album out on title called <laughs> Hayes Opedia. Yeah, it's a stand up comedy album, straight up. So if you like stand up comedy, there's no sneaker humor on there. You know, it's just more about just things that happen in my life, random things I think are funny, and uh, some stuff that I feel strongly about. But uh, yeah, it's just kind of a mixed bag of all that and some random thoughts. Now we got Jamel. Who is also a comedian and one half of the uh, was it a show comedy juggathon? Did he freeze up again? We're, let's just rename the yeah, show no, technical difficulties. Jamel, oh god damn it! I think I think he's sending you a message that he doesn't want to do this anymore. Yeah, See, I think they're, so. They're funny intentionally. We're just fucking up. Yeah, no, we're getting laughed at. They're getting laughed with. Yeah, there's a difference. Well, well while we waiting I mean, on Jamil, huh? Oh, no, I was just going to say that I, I, I feel like, you know, it would be impossible to talk about sneakers in front of an audience of, like, drinking adults. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just just think of a random audience of people of me going on stage like, man, these pollens, right? It, right. It just, it's just not going to work. As if they will all know the colorways and the silhouettes. Exactly. I, I don't think it would translate well. Jamil, what's up, man? I'm glad to have you back on here. I listen, guys. My my internet, sir. Me and Spectrum have been beefing for some time. <laughs> and, um, I just want you to know is is I, I do pay my bill on time occasionally. Okay. I'm saying you gotta get off that Boost Mobile network, man. You gotta upgrade. People who have Spectrum, it's because Xfinity won't service those streets. That's why Cricket I have it. Started, Same. Yeah. yeah. Cricket started handing out modems <laughs> on my block a couple weeks back, and I grabbed one, and I thought. I thought it was the same. Hey, I thought, you I, make, was, I, thought I, I thought it was just modem. I didn't know you, there was better modems. You making that Bleacher Report money now? You got to upgrade, man. Yeah, I spent it all on hats. I <laughs> that. Dude, real quick, I, I got to point out, man. I'm I'm kind of mad that hats are a thing now because hats cost way more than they should. I saw a hat going for like a hundred dollars, and I'm like, why? That doesn't. People are lining up for hats, and yeah. it's like just make just make more hats. Thank you. Like. Like, just because you have a specific hat, that's not going to make you fresh. If you don't know what to do with it, then it doesn't matter. Like, why Why can't I just get a pink brim just on a random day? Like, why do I have to plan out a whole schedule because I want my under brim to be pink? It sounds See, like a sneaker all over again. Well, no, right? because oh, like, we're I, selling hats now? No, <laughs> uh -oh. there, there are people doing yes. it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes. Like sneaker culture has permeated a light bulb above my head. into no, other I, I saw the gear turn like inside his head. Yeah, it, it's permeated to other facets of fashion and it drives me nuts cuz I to your point, I've never heard anybody say, "Hey, that's an impressive hat." They might say, "Hey, that's a nice hat or whatever." But nobody's impressed by a hat. An like, impressive hat? Yeah, it's like that's an I don't think that's the terminology you use. Nobody you there's not a, like there's a no hat. hat. There's no hat con. You know what I'm saying? There's a sneaker con. There's no hat con. It will, well, it will probably blow your I'd mind if you look it up. Well, hold up. I'd, I'd group hats yeah. in with streetwear, though. You what? I would group hats in with streetwear. I would, too. I'm just saying. Like, I, bet I, you there, I bet you there is a hat con. Hats are supposed to complement an outfit. Will they sponsor us? They're not the focal point <laughs> of an outfit. Shout out hat con if you're out there. Oh, my God. Are they going to have a, a fitted hat episode of the hype? Am I the only one who prefers snapbacks? Are they having an episode oh, of that on the snapbacks too? Oh yeah, that's what I asked. Never stop. That, that was a question. Oh, that was a question. Oh, it, you know, Are at this point, I've I haven't watched the first episode. I plan on it. Uh, shout out to my man. Uh, damn, I forgot his name. He's um, dang, Speedy? he's like the host of it. Speedy uh, Alexander. So we don't even know who Ale- the host is. It Alexander, not Alexander St. John. He's Speedy doing the designs. Okay, but uh, he kept trying to tell you. I know. Yeah, you don't listen to light skinned people. See, that's no, the problem. That's what it was. <laughs> Had Jamil said it, I probably would have heard it. Um, I- <laughs> yeah, dude was like, "Hey, Jamil, say the thing he's just said." I'm like, <laughs> "Right." <laughs> I, I, he's open in the corner. I don't know what. Hey, it's hard to hear somebody you know from the house. I'm out in the field. Listen, point is, wow. Uh, no, but real talk, I do want to watch that show. Um, I'm I'm interested in seeing what it's about. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if there was a hat episode for the hype because it seems like nowadays everything is hyped up. If you name it, it's gonna start getting resold. That's the thing. If you say like if you say something right now, yep. one thing we can count on is monarchs. Then yep. monarchs will be resold. Like whatever whatever it is that <laughs> is not cool will become yep. cool in three years. What changes have you seen in sneaker culture for better or worse? Um, since you've been in it to this point, but like how has it changed for better or, or for better or worse? Um, She's getting people, worse. People. Yeah, I agree with you on that. I mean, I didn't know if you, I didn't know. Like some people, some people look at it as a you know this is a great moment in sneaker history, right? Like because they they love the fact that it's so expansive and everybody's included. Me in, in, on that premise alone, yeah. But all the other stuff, the resale, the bots, and all that extra, you know. That stuff is where I'm it like. gives people like us a job, but it is becoming mainstream and oversaturated. And like there are downfalls, like that. With that comes ma- more acceptance of fakes. Yeah, you know. What are your thoughts on that, though? I never thought I would see New Balance have its day. Like, like the <laughs> moment that New Balance is having now, growing up, I always knew they were there, and it was like, okay, I could, you know, get those if I want to do something a little different. But I never thought that like people would have new balance. Like I feel like they like second or third, depending on who you ask right now. And I and I never thought I would see that. Also, That's like the crazy. moment A six had. You yeah. Know, well, Jamel from DC. So we were always New Balance. Now everybody's wearing New Balance. I'm like, get the fuck, get out of right. here. Right. Right. Thank you. We were wearing these specifically because no one else wanted them. Now look at this shit. <laughs> the same way how people I felt bet. about the DMV. Nobody wanted it. I've been Man. wearing New Balances for like like 10 years. But still, you know, to somebody like Jamel, 10 years is nothing in the, in the New Balance game. Right. Not 30 it's f- years. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's That's funny. But, I mean, I guess I would fall in that category because I got my first pair of New Balances. Shout out to Foot Locker. They sent me a pair last year. And, that's, you know, the only but, way, that's the only way you was going to get them. No, too, because huh? they don't usually make my size. So this is what happens. Whatever. A lot of times when what? Asics. No, because, okay, so New Balance makes my size, but it's all like the mall walker shoe. Extra sizes. Yeah, they got the. Yeah, they make, they make wide shoes. They make like no, 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 no. Yeah, see, th- see, thank you. We've see, been no, trying no, to no. Say this. No, no, no. Let me, let me give y'all proper context. Okay, they do make go. they do make my size, but like I said, it's all the mall walkers. Like all the dope lifestyle sneakers that y'all get to buy, they don't make my size you, usually. You got to start somewhere. Like all the collaborations don't come in my size. So it's like, all right. You can't you know. live like a peasant. What size do you wear? I wear a 15. Oh, okay. okay. So see, oh, see, yeah. see, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 
You got you got to crawl before you. Before I'm saying you if walk, I want to go for a brisk walk on a Tuesday morning at seven a.m. Yeah, like they got shoes for me. Like, but other I shoes. I can't see how, you wanting to go for a walk at seven a.m. ever. Not at seven p.m. Not at seven a.m. <laughs> to the fridge, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> well, to your mother's bedroom. Look, point is, <laughs> New Balance. <laughs> Make sure that gets edited out. <laughs> point is, uh, you know, like, but I, I like the fact that New Balance and all these other brands are starting to get some shine, which leads me to my beef with Bleacher Report's top sneakers of the year so far. I got beef with that. I haven't even seen. I haven't even seen the list. Well, the list is damn near all Nike. So you feel about that list? How I feel about your list weekly? <laughs> I'm about to see that's what it sounds like. I'm telling you, y'all want to come and replace them? Y'all want to be on our show? That's like mad hypocritical, sees. Hey, watch the ratings when you guys lose me. Oh, okay. Hey, watch them go up. <laughs> I mean, I'm with my hair like that. You should probably keep that fool. I'm not. I'm definitely not <laughs> gonna do that. Hell yeah! Thank you. Well, I think that was a compliment. N- nah. Yeah, it's nah. like you know. How bummed bum were you when Peppy Le Pew got cut out of? A <laughs> I didn't even notice, but I guess uh, that that is unfortunate you know, news to hear. Had a big time role that was removed. Yeah, yeah. We but thought I mean, that was in protest. No, no, I didn't even know. No. Uh, I forgot about him. Which but. is so dumb to me. Which is so well, dumb to me. He's like a predator. He, no, but, he's not. A so predator. they literally had it in the movie who eats children. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, well, but the skunk is fresh and creepy. They guys from the Clockwork Orange who, you know, yeah. Yeah. But no, we can't have Baby Lippie. Shout out Clockwork Orange. And by the way, I, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> this is the most dysfunctional interview ever. Um, oh, this but no, is an interview? It's more of a conversation. Oh, I was confused. It's more Cross of a conversation show. at this point. <laughs> Just in general, do you guys feel like we've reached a point where... In general, we're just all overly sensitive. Um, first, I'd like oh, to say yeah. Time Warner is a great company. You know, they do great <laughs> things. Warner Brothers is a great property. You know, uh, and, and the decisions that were made made a new legacy. You know, uh, you know, one of the a greatest classic. movies of, of this year. A classic. It's a classic. Yeah, so you know, classic. I'm just struggling to find the one non-offensive thing that no one on the planet finds offense to. People found sneak this offensive. Yeah, yeah. Like, That's what I'm saying. People find us offensive. People, somebody was offended by I. I would say offended, but like when that narco. So we did a parody, <laughs> a narco's parody uh-huh. about the kid who was reselling shoes. Right. About the the the, the Herbert boy. Joe yeah. Joe Herbert. Joe Herberts. Yeah. We do a sketch about this fool. It looks like narco. Was, and in our how how dare you give him a platform <laughs> uh, what is this I'm like dog it's, it's not a plat TV is not all platforms right did, yeah did Denzel get Frank Lucas a platform did Oliver Stone no. get Tony <laughs> Montana a platform did Scorsese <laughs> get John Corleone a platform like, like what are you talking about no, I, I 100%. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, the nonsense of that. Speaking of which, uh, I had a conversation with somebody who actually works for Nike, and they were talking about how Ann Herbert really took the rap, took the fall. Like, basically, uh, she was beloved by many people there. And. Well, you could tell with how the agreeance was for her to step away from her role. Well, yeah. And well, that was my. And that was my whole. Like, if you go back and watch the episode where we talked about it, like, I was pissed because I didn't like the fact that Nike was trying to play dumb because she was up front with them from the from jump. She told them exactly what she was doing. She said, hey, my son, I got this thing, you know, whatever. We're involved in it. And Nike was like, okay. And then when it became news, all of a sudden, they're like, oh, she made a bad decision. Well, it was a bad decision that you knew about. So don't play dumb now. Um, but talking to people, they were saying like, "Hey, like she was a good person," and they felt like beca- there were other people that wanted her position, and so they kind of amplified that story and kind of, in some way, she got pushed out. And so in that way, I feel bad. Oh sure. I mean, yeah, what would line. you do? Like if you if you work, say you work anywhere, right? And you mm-hmm. selling, say you selling phones right yeah you're selling phones you know what goes into it you the design the hard work the long hours 
you you making it, you know, making the screen flat, making it so that when you drop it, it don't break. You're doing all that, and then you guys figure out a price that's fair for the market, and you put it out, and the minute people buy it, they can flip it for ten times the price. Yeah. What like, what would you do? And you, you're you, right there where the phones is at. You can't buy that kind of advertising or hype. <laughs> this is beneficial for for Nike. The what the? Is at your house. What is like the the concept yeah. of? I mean, what's, of, what's funny is somebody that's actually worked at a phone store uh, and heard the stories about that happening. That's nothing new. No, uh, t- <laughs> elaborate. I, I'm what, Dunk's made a point. I want him to elaborate on that real quick. I'm, I'm trying to follow. Yeah, We're saying like, the- well, no, you're saying like the <laughs> price. Usually does. That's the, the price, best part. The price of a phone. <laughs> he has said the price of a phone only costs so much, and you agree what you'll sell it for. Yeah. But I'm saying the second that runs out and everyone knows what the what the value is, Nike thrives off that that resale. Oh, market. most definitely. No, like I'm, they can't. You can't buy that kind of hype, is what I was saying. Oh yeah, they love resale culture. As much as they try to act like we don't like it, yes, you do because it adds oh, yeah. value to that's, your brand. That's free marketing. Yeah, Nike has a filter and they choose do. when to filter bots. Like they're not going to filter Just, every oh, no, release. No, no. People have been getting shot over Nikes for. Yeah, quite some time. Good Decades. amount of time. It's eight, yo, okay. But Emerson was getting shot for Bally's in '86. Right. It's not new. No, it's definitely not new. I think the I think because we just did a story. I don't know if it was last week or the week before, uh, where a young man was killed at a, a shoe palace over a raffle. I think for the pollen ones. I think the issue is we're still doing this, and you know what I'm saying. And it's like, why is it still an issue? It and, wasn't even the shoes. It was just a raffle. Yeah, it was just a raffle, and it was dumb to me. Um, and that he was, was just trying to break violence? it up. Yeah. Well, he, so this is what happened. It was an employee who tried. tried to break up a fight, and he got shot and killed. Yeah. Right. It was a 16-year-old kid who showed up with a gun. A fight broke up between him and somebody else in line. The employee shows up, tries to de-escalate the situation, and ends up getting shot by the 16-year-old. And I actually had somebody in my comments like, well, it's a dangerous area, and a 16-year-old needed to protect himself. I'm like, the fact that you needed... For the fact that you think you need this shoe so much that you place yourself in a dangerous environment where you feel like you need a gun tells you everything that you need to know. Now, and I also said this, I'm all about personal responsibility. Like 16 year old, you know better, you know right from wrong, you know gun, kill, killing people is wrong. This is not a foreign concept to a 16 year old. But as a brand, I think you have to look yourself in the mirror and consider the role you're playing in creating such an environment so i don't know what your guys's thoughts are on that i mean i, I, I think I that, that the original purpose of the confirmed app and uh the sneakers app was to prevent violence was yeah. to prevent you know it's like send it straight to the home now you don't have to worry about can I make it home getting these shoes? So I, I think that was the original, you know, purpose of the apps. But unfortunately, that just created so much corruption, and you know, the computer people start getting, the bots start getting in it, and then it just made it, you know, now it's like, can I make it home? Now it's like, why even try? Right. My guy used to backdoor me shit straight from the Foot Locker in Potomac Mills. He's been in the game since 05. Hopefully he doesn't work there anymore. Nah, now he's on his own. (laughs) Now he's out the trunk. He's doing raffles on IG Live. Wow. He had to to change with the times. Wow. Yeah. It's like when you're selling dope, you got to figure out a different way to sell your dope. You know? I guess. Everybody want to be on the same corner. You got to get the dope that sells itself. The Blue Magic. Wow. It's a brand name. Otherwise known as Sacconi's. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the oh. first time Sacconi's been mentioned on the show this year, by the way. <laughs> Shout out to Sacconi. <laughs> Did y'all hear about the Under Armour parties? <laughs> no, no, man. It's out LA. Are no. Is in Maryland? Well, no. Yeah, it's out your way. Um, yeah. So. So a couple of years ago, they got busted because they they would use company cars to go like to strip clubs and stuff. And my best, my favorite part about that story was uh, they would have somebody walk through the Under Armour offices and inviting only the hot chicks in the office. Wow. Yeah. So since then, we've been trying that. to get to a party. We've been trying to you go to an Under Armour party. You won't, but uh, <laughs> I, I will. <laughs> 
slam. I'll stand near Dunk. that. I'm not going to stand for it, but I would stand like <laughs> around it. I'm like saying that. that. that's why. Going to the, can you imagine going to the strip club in all Under Armour tech gear, like like, those, like turtlenecks, <laughs> it's ten dudes in light blue dry fit, man. Challenge accepted. I mean, it's got to as I'm long a- as they got the AC on and I got my heat gear on, so I'm good with that. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, look like, like we're gonna look like some. Like a superhero. We're gonna walk in looking like a white collar golf club, like just, <laughs> just. Yeah. Well, they, they definitely gonna expect money to be thrown if if you're looking like that. I already go in there looking like a rock. Star. I mean, if it's going on an Under Armour company card, like I don't care. Yeah, but what do you do? You gonna swipe the card on their ass like the tip drill video? They probably did. It's only twenty dollars yeah. for the but ATM. You got, this, you got the spandex on, right? You got yep. all spandex on Under Armour. They see how yep. much ones you got on you. So the minute you reach in the spandex, it's like, oh, you got the tip. <laughs> the spandex. Oh, yeah. Your knots been inspe- inspected. Yeah. <laughs> you got your rock trainer shoes on. You got your Cam Newton trainers on. Yeah. Your Tom Brady's. Your Tom Brady. No, he, he was ugly, though, isn't he? Or is no, he, he, he Under Armour? Armour? Is he? Yeah. That was the quietest it, collaboration it, 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 Look at Tom Brady. Think of Under Armour. I think they kind of go hand in hand. I mean, honestly, I. Those are non competes. You could be with both. Well, uh, well Uggs <laughs> and Under Armour. <laughs> yeah, because I know about non competes when, when Zion was offered that Money Yachty uh, contract. And hey, Master P, holla at us. We'll, we'll do a Money Yachty too. Oh, he was basically. That was the. Uh, <laughs> What was that? His hey, shoe was basically that. the template shoes. Y'all say that now until, until you see what y'all get oh, to work with. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, those are those template oh, sneakers that everybody can design. <laughs> everybody got the same basic design. You no, basically it's going to look like a 2K sneaker. Hey, whatever sneaker you guys get, can I get a friends and family pair early? Oh, my God. So we fun, yeah. Hey, we got to fund you this know. show somehow. Oh sell, sell it to him as an Win NFT. It. He'll like that. With an extra pair of, of half white, half black laces. You know what I'm saying? Have blind hey. laces, have black laces. Oh my god! Yeah. I, I think that's slick. I like that. Please don't feed into his bullshit. Should we just call you Scarface? Hey, uh, we. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. I'll wear the Scarface <laughs> Air Force Ones next. Now week. he brought Here. up the NFTs, and I think that might be the dumbest thing Yo, ever. I'm riding this NFT. I know he hard. loves the NFTs. I think it's so stupid. Like I'm gonna sell you an image of a shoe that you can't wear, can't do shit with. Well, but. some of them are actually like videos. And what here's the fuck what you're supposed to do with a video. Hear me out. Hear me Watch out. it. I want their that's opinion. Like dating a, that's like but, dating a girl online. So check this out. So they're canceling OnlyFans. Their OnlyFans can't do sexual content. No, no they're not no, canceling. They, they just backed off on that. Yeah. Damn. Well, I was going to say they should combine that with NFTs. And if you don't do subscriptions, that's I keep girls up with sell that one of shit. ones. I do. <clears throat> Point is, I just think the whole I NFT. I got a brothel to run. Come on. I now. think the whole NFT thing is. I, I think that's that's when invest in NFTs now. I think that's the the people above see the money that's being made and it's like y'all are idiots. Y'all will buy anything. Watch this and what well, college textbooks, everything, everything's gonna be NFT. Yeah, because you can read anything on the screen, like shoes. I can't wear a shoe, a virtual sneaker. Well, you can. Well, if you can't afford yeah. it, you can at least pretend you are. Oh my god! How but see, do you I, make NFT scarce? Like how? Do, so okay, so say <laughs> I want to put a joke as the NFT. How could like I prevent someone else from buying that NFT? Be- because you, in the blockchain, you say how many there are. For example, Jeff Staple just dropped sixty, and they're all they're all numbered one through sixty, and you can't lie about it because the technology. Uh, like let's say you're buying or selling on OpenSea, the marketplace. You can you can view the whole history and everything about it through the blockchain. You know what the fallacy of that is? Is sneakers do the same thing? Like they'll drop a shoe, number it, and there's still fakes of them out there. So to his point, like, what's harder to make a a real shoe or a virtual shoe? Oh yeah, virtual. See, yeah. yeah. I would. You know what? This is what people have got to do. You got to walk up to somebody that's got some real pigeons on. If you see somebody with some pigeon dunks on, walk up to them and be like, "Man, I'm just like you. I just got the NFT. I just got the I got the digital <laughs> pigeons. Like pull your pull your phone out and just show them to them." <laughs> Don't even show it. Just talk about it. Like, oh yeah, no, yeah. Back in the hard drive, you know what I'm saying? I got, I ain't even bust them out yet. I got the pigeon NFT. Just see how they react. Cause I imagine somebody with the OG pigeon. Yo, but but as it. much as as much as you're joking, that let's say the dunks go for thirty thousand, right? These NFTs are selling for two Ethereum's. That's like. Sixty five hundred, seven thousand U.S. dollars. These are these are virtual beanie babies. I can and I cannot wait for hey, the bottom the, to fall out. He literally couldn't even believe it. 
I can't wait for the bottom to fall. Remember when BB, remember when Beanie Babies were hot but and people were buying them for like thousands of dollars, and then one day yeah. people just decided that they weren't valuable no more. Beanie Babies, once <laughs> McDonald's fucked the game up because McDonald's, McDonald's put them in the Happy the market, Meals. Yeah. Yep. They I just say the market. Be with Beanie, the babies. Beanie Babies, the hey. Furbies, the Tamagotchis, all of that stuff. It came and went. I, I just cannot wait for the bottom fallout. Really, I, I really Shout can't. Shout out Nano Pets. Big up. <laughs> 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 Oh, your Ethereum as the unit of measurement because that that changes every day. Like so, yeah, you know, you it might does. Say that's seven thousand a day, and then tomorrow it'll be like four thousand. Yeah, I'm I know. I agree. It's not stable. Of a five pack of white teas, it's going to be a five pack of white teas <laughs> NFT. You know, I'm surprised Foot Locker hasn't done that. Hell yeah! Come a on, tall man. tea sticker NFT. That's what I need. Hey, look. Hey, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take your T-shirts. I'm gonna put a thunderbolt on them, and then I'm gonna say I'm creative. If um, you guys make these NFTs, I will buy them. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a very I, specific thunderbolt, yeah. though. Yeah. And I will say this though, because this you could say this about him or even the UAs and the super perfects and all the other categories of fakes, where the brands kind of did it to themselves, right? Because when you create an environment where there's so much scarcity and you create so much demand. People are going to want the product, whether they get it from you or somewhere else. And so you got a lot of people now who are comfortable wearing fakes. Whereas I remember when I was younger, that was like taboo. It was like you getting clowned all day, every day. Now it's like, you know what? People understand. It's like, yo, like you're going to spend $1,000 on that shoe or you're going to spend $150 on a shoe that looks damn near identical. Like unless somebody forces you to take the shoe off to like do some type of uh, StockX check or, or something. Or are you going to spend 250 on the NFT? So that way, nobody oh can make God, you take man. the shoe off. Mm -hmm. I don't even Because you live inside of a computer. Exactly. They can't even Come put on. you they in there. The they hack in T-Mobile. You don't think they're going to hack and take your... No, it's like, thank you. It's, it's digital, like Tron. We, we've talked about the digital wallets aren't safe. It's not your bank account. You shouldn't store your cash in there. When you do a transaction, you should empty it. Yeah, I agree. That's real. That that might That's be the, like, like PayPal that might be the too. smartest thing anybody said in like, the show so we, far. We talked well, about this before. Come from the like, white guy. Don't leave don't leave yeah. money in your PayPal. Don't leave money in your Goat account. We it can be hacked. I almost said we can hack it, but it can be hacked. <laughs> wow! <I> mean, <laughs> yeah. Incriminate wow. yourself oh, again, right? Okay. It's a comedy show. Even the eleven dollars in my OnlyFans. I've been trying to figure out how to get this eleven dollars. <laughs> it's like he's getting cut off. I'm saying, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, OnlyFans don't want you to talk about that. No, nah, you need My to bet. take your OnlyFans money and upgrade that modem. Yeah, for sure. I don't know if the eleven dollars <laughs> is gonna cover it, but it's a start. We'll try. It might be worth a spec. Can we start upgrade. a GoFundMe for Jamil? Let's yes, start a few of them, please. though. That, now we're talking. <laughs> Why are you adding click on sneak this, send it to people, play it in your sleep? You know what I'm saying? That would help Jamil out a lot. Uh, yeah, play it in your you sleep. Watch. Just yeah, run it on. Yeah. Run it on mute. So I gotta yeah, ask. Just, I mean, <laughs> faces, you know? yeah. just get a blind view. That's all that matters, right? That's it. Yeah. Every IP address you can find, just pull up the link. You know, you go to the library. You. Just click it. Start, it go on the PR app and uh, just leave it. Hey, once real yeah, talk. Once I found out, lab, every 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 computer in the computer lab just turn it on one time. Make a playlist. Turn it hey. on. Once I find out what people really do on library computers, I stop going to libraries. <laughs> like I was That's like, no. No, I was like, mm -mm. it gets a little strange in there, man. <laughs> a little. Hey, what you can never do on in a library is print out a script that you'll get so many business cards, so many people like they were like, oh, this is my shot. Like you cannot print a script at the library. You tried that? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I had to do what I had to do. You know. I, I didn't have a printer at the house. I had I had to you know audition. I had to print the script. Next thing I know, I'm I'm the king of the library. All right, we gonna start a GoFundMe. We gonna get Jamel or Modem. We are gonna get you a printer. Come on, man. Maybe y'all should sell that sell that uh, sneaker bot that y'all made on uh, <laughs> that one sketch. You, well, might, oh, be well, you, you know might be able to get Hold it. You might be able to get it. Oh, before we even get That's into that. <laughs> let's let's before we get into that let's let's, let's kind of walk into the show and the premise like so first of all how did that even all come about like who approached to and whose idea was it um I feel like our man, uh, 
he uh, he used to work at Bleacher Report, and he he did some of the um, like LeBron musical stuff, some of the like uh, more high like high end videos that they would do, um, you know, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air stuff, the stuff with Kawhi. So he approached me, Jamil and I about um, doing a show, and I think the bot was one of the things we came up with before we even sold the show we just were you know that was just an idea that you know just kind of came up naturally and then we were in the parking lot we're leaving our first time we like met up to talk about it and that's when the the janet herbert story broke and then it was like well we got to do something with that and that was like yeah before we even took it to br or anybody gino brought up the uh the bot episode. I would have to say my favorite one though is because I've done this so many times, trying to sneak a package in past your significant other yeah. <laughs> and trying to come up with different explanations. Did you, ever, did, did you ever go yeah. have words with Gerald at unions for my friend's union? <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> we gotta we gotta do a part two where me and Gerald reconnect about the <laughs> mess. Yeah. Where we left. Yeah, we gotta get Return. How many takes did it take for him to get that dance down though? Like, he, was that one take? No, he had that out the gate. He was ready to go. <laughs> that was him hooping. He was like, "I got my stuff in the car. If you need me to hoop, like he was ready to like hoop." What? But then he just started like throwing passes and stuff, and it was like, "Oh yeah, he from a different era. He from a like <laughs> wow." Yeah. He used to run. With, he used to go to run and you shoot. Yeah, he was at run and shoot with Bob Cousy. He was out there. <laughs> yeah. Like, he was really, yeah. That's back when they had the like peach baskets. That's when they had the peach baskets in the ladder. Every time somebody scored, you had to climb up it and get the ball out. They was using crates yeah, for a different reason. And then the uh, sneaker draft. The sneaker <laughs> draft got me too. Because when he, I think you. who got feeler? Was it the Asians? Those was white girls. Was white, girls. white girls. Yeah. Okay. White girls. Okay. White girls. White girls. White girls. White girls. Yeah. yeah. They got the feel of disruptors. They had thirty Air Force Ones on the board, but they they picked the disruptors. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I immediately thought of the uh, the, the race racial draft. draft. That's, the, uh, yeah, that's the show. first thing I thought yeah. of when I saw it. But it rang Quite, true though. Definitely the in- well, definitely the inspiration for sure. And uh, you know, if Chappelle, we we want you to know we love you, bro. Uh, if you want a cut of that. We haven't gotten paid yet, but we will. <laughs> we haven't really done a sketch about it. Alexander McQueen's yet, but you know, if you, if you got one, then we went down to do it. We gotta do a skit. We gotta do a skit with y'all one day. We gotta I mean, think of no, something. Season two, everybody's in. Yeah, uh, everybody. It could yeah, go hand in hand yeah. with her sneaker line. Be crazy. Well, it not, ain't everybody. We're not, we're not everybody. Just us. I was gonna say it ain't everybody. If we not okay. involved. Exclusively, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> the royal everybody. Yeah, exactly. There'll be season three, but we got season Why two. Why do I feel like this is going to be a Janet yeah, Jackson? Two. Why do I feel like this is going to be a Janet Jackson Tupac moment? You remember that story he told about when they were filming on uh, Poetic Justice? He had her number and he called her, and as soon as the movie wrapped, the phone got disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> like, we would never hear from Rob oh, or Jamil ever again. Any scenario where I'm Janet Jackson, I'm cool with. So, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm going to have to delete the number. I hate that I, I even know, said it. I do yeah, okay. I do do the dance routine from Pleasure Principle when I'm alone. Yeah. Like after this, I might throw on some knee pads and just try to run some dance. Before. Man. You that, might you might want to throw that on your OnlyFans. No, nah, that's a visual. Oh my God. Thank you. Yeah, there you Thank go. You. Oh, good man. content. Watch, uh, watch OnlyFans is shut up this closed shop by tomorrow. I can just, <laughs> <laughs> just cease to exist. I, yeah. But no, I got to be so. I kill OnlyFans, I, hell yeah. I, <laughs> but no, because I, I brought up the, the fat or at the least their top sneakers of the year. Um, and I had beef with it because, like I said, it was all Nike. And I, I. So we do this thing every year, right? At the end of the year, we call it our Sneaker Royal Rumble, where. And what I purposely do is I make everybody on the show pick one shoe from one brand because I feel like a lot of times, like, the shoes of the year are the most hype shoe, but they're not necessarily the best shoe. Like, for instance, a lot of people pick Prince over Michael Jackson, but Michael Jackson sold more records. So I'm saying if you if your logic is this shoe sold more, so therefore it's the best, 
that can't be the end all be all of the argument. Just like if you like Prince, Michael Jackson outselling records doesn't negate you say, picking him over Michael Jackson. Because you like Prince for other reasons. There's other categories. But huh? But Thriller. Um, that's my attitude. I mean, I, I pick Michael. Hell, off the wall. I pick Michael. I'm just saying, there are people that pick Prince. But 1999, but Purple <laughs> Rain. But, They're not Thriller, know. bro. They're, none of them are Thriller. They not thriller, but what what Michael Jackson put out in eighty five? What Michael Jackson put out in eighty six? What Michael Jackson put out? Listen, when you so good, when you can take off the listen. You know, when you so good, oh, when you so you good, the Rob Hage's page. Hold on, now. Hold on, hold on, bro. No, we about to do this. We about to do this. When you're so good, when you're so good. First of all, he was supporting his family at the age of five. Beyond that, when you so good, you can drop an album. Age at the beginning five, of the yeah. year and take off the rest of the decade damn near and then drop another album and have the whole world go crazy that speaks for itself some people gotta work a lot to make money and some people don't have to work a lot at all to make a, a lot of money so i'm just saying i like prince there there's one a and one b michael is definitely the one a facts he had grown man yeah. fainting dude you know, what you, care about. you know like like quincy jones musical genius you yeah. know, I, I never seen Michael Jackson pick up an instrument. Prince can pick up any instrument. Prince you know what I'm we're, not, we're not gonna get into that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you that. We did okay. not make the Bleach Report list. All right? So, no, let's, y'all, so no, let's, 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 hold on. No, hell no, we didn't make that list. Hold on, y'all got to get blamed for it. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all are, <laughs> y'all are, the, y'all are the proxy for Bleach Report in this moment. But to your point about he played his instruments, I will give you that. That's the one thing he has over Michael Jackson. But even still. That doesn't put him over the top for me. One Prince. person sold more records. One person had more impact. One person had more longevity. Do f- listen when you can. <laughs> when you can get accused twice of what he got accused of, <laughs> and still have a career, <laughs> like, bro. There's something to be said about that. The fact that you're putting that, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> when you so good, huh? How many girls could you pull in here? <laughs> I knew this would come up for whatever reason. That is, for whatever reason, I've heard me. I've heard people make this argument more than I thought they would. And to Prince's credit, I agree. I agree. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna do that. Listen, I know exactly. I know exactly which party to pull up to with my heels on. (laughs) I know where to go. Are you gonna wear the, the Prince uh ass cheekless pants too? And the bandana. On, the sure. neck bandana. And he did that and they didn't the cancel. Way. Look what Lizzo tried to do. Uh, well, oh yeah, there's a big difference sure. between Lizzo and, nope. and Prince. Yuck. <laughs> nope. Like, no, come on, man. I like Lizzo. See sorry. why you about, you about to make me say we something? Make a listen, I'm y'all sorry. not gonna Lizzo made it, Lizzo just remind me of like pudding. Like y'all that's not, what it looks like. like. Y'all not gonna come on our show and get us canceled. Oh, no, pudding, pudding. It's no, pudding. I, 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 see, I like Lizzo. I right, like Lizzo tapioca. a lot. But I will say this. Sick. <laughs> Let's just go to the next one. No, yes, no, not make the bleach report. Oh, time out. Uh, <laughs> well, once again, we would like to reiterate that we did not make. The but y'all are, y'all are, y'all are the fill-in proxy for bleach report in this moment. Yeah, they, and they, I t- they brought us in to get killed. That's true. Yes, and I was we like, were, yo, we were the voice of the people. We were supposed to be the voice of the people. So, like, when we when we opened the box, we said, "Hey, we didn't make this list." Our reactions are like <laughs> honest reactions. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we we are like the people. That's what they don't understand. They be trying to kill us, and it's like we we y'all. We but, uh, we don't got. Like, how the hell the trophy connect. rooms? We not getting seated. Hey, the, now here I'm with you, sir. Because I look, it's like maybe there should be more than one Nike, but we don't need more than one one. Dog. One y'all one. Just, y'all just say y'all have what about four Jordan ones on there? My dude, it's like four pairs of ones. Yeah, they they at the um the trophy rooms. I don't know how that made the list because that shoe beyond it being super limited and then even more way. huh classic colorway with a little that's bit bullshit. of sparkles. That's that's bullshit. Yeah, beyond so it being the, uh, the Spider Man one. Beyond it being limited and even more limited thanks to Marcus Jordan. I I don't understand how that shoe. It wasn't that dope. It was really not that yeah. dope of a shoe. Yeah, no. We said that. We said that on the thing. We were, okay. I was saying, yo, the 
the 85 All-Star game, the man scored four points. Like, why are we commemorating that? <laughs> He showed up, man. That's, that's what matters. Listen, listen. Are you surprised that they're doing that? They got a shoe coming out because he he's like chew gum. I mean, right? So, they they reaching. I know. I was, I'm just saying. Well, they got the Jordan that Jordan four now. They got that. Yeah, the Phil Jackson. Yeah, the Phil Jackson yeah. supposed to kind of look like his ties. <sighs> no, if you're gonna do a <laughs> Phil Jackson, it should be a four with the wings off and the back cut because Phil Jackson wore fours. In 89, 90, and 91, he wore them fours till they fell apart. So sell some falling apart fours and call them the field jacket. Oh, so sell some off-white fours. Yeah, they'd that's, have to that's be off-white. That's, yeah, yeah. that's what it sounds like. Just put a zip tie on there. Yeah. yeah. And a crumbled mix on. Y'all remember, like, they would show Phil Jackson sometimes wearing, like, Yeah, sneakers. look at every team it'd photo. Be it'd, yeah. It'd be the same James year after year. Like, he, you know, he wasn't hooping, so he was like, where are these... Forever. So they fall apart. Right. I know I'm with you on that, but you're making sense. You know what I'm saying? You sound like a true sneakerhead. You know, Nike yeah, Nike doesn't hire those. Um Ooh. But I I know, right? Spicy. No, we but we want that collab. We want that collab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're still we're playing ball. We're playing ball on this side. Listen, See, they're, 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 they're the opposite of you. I'm saying they 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 the total opposite of you. Yeah, they didn't <laughs> They're willing to shield. I, I'm like, listen, I, I, I look. I've had too many conversations with these people to where I just lost my, I just lost my mind. Like, I won't even tell you. Caesar the Motown turns deals down. I won't tell you the conversation I that's had. The type of influence that he has. I won't tell you the conversation I had about the Motown thing. That that still bothers me to this day. Like, I'm telling you, I won't go into it. Just know that you there's. You signed the Motown. Dude, no, I, no, I wish. No, <laughs> I, no, we okay. So we were supposed. I is pitched, huh? No, I just found out they were related to Barry Gordon. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I did, it took me forever to find that out too. But no, I had pitched a, I had pitched an idea about I was trying to help them revive the Black History Month collection because they spent the last fifteen years just putting kente cloth on sneakers and calling it Black History. So. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> how about we actually tell black stories? So me being black from Detroit. Motown was the first thing I thought of. And I actually had a black man from Nike tell me Nike's global, Motown's local. You should have consulted with Clarence. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but and they said he, he was like dismissive. <laughs> he was dismissive of it like, you know, like Motown wasn't big enough to do a collaboration. But I'm like, my man, y'all did a Paul Bunyan dunk. Like, so Paul Bunyan is big yeah. enough to get a shoe, but well, technically he is. Paul Bunyan. Yeah, he's I mean, the biggest guy there. Yeah. Is. <laughs> big he don't got no got, hits. Man, he don't got no Motown hits. got more hits than the Rolling Stones. They did a Grateful Dead dunk. That's ridiculous. That's Three. crazy. Bruh. That's insane. Y'all better be careful. Remember, y'all trying to get the collab, so calm down. Remember. Man, but well, I mean, okay. Man, we so talking about black I, history, I, though. I, I, I work, I yeah. work on, a, I work on a, another show. We did a Black History Month special. One of the songs for the Black History Month special was "Add Some Kente." It was supposed to be like a like a Black History Month song, and I I've never talked about this, but the origin of that song was us talking about the Nike Black History Month pack. So like See? that that's kind of where "Add Some Kente" came from. If you if you guys are familiar, uh, Sherman Show. I should also know on AMC. Should, yes, now streaming it's on a Google. comedy show. Yeah. No, it's a comedy. Yeah, you didn't say it was a comedy show. Yeah. It's not a serious show where he said. I want them to get have... serious and then get you know like. Dude, one of them. <laughs> I went in. I went in so hard against the Black History Month collection up until that point that even the C John Donahoe, the CEO, emailed me, and you know we went back and forth, and he kind of blew me off. I mean, you know, I I think eventually they're gonna get it. This how much Kente cloth is there? It might what be running out. Gonna, <laughs> Nike has they, uh, have, they they they, they have a, patented like how they yeah. did the air technology. It is unlimited. It is it's just a kente cloth printing machine at Nike headquarters. It just operates twenty four seven. They just waiting for the next collection to drop. Um, yeah, but no, they when he's but to have a black man at that company tell me that and be dismissive and act like and I'm like yo Michael Jackson global icon Diana Ross global icon Stevie Wonder like where have you been the last. 50 years. I don't How know. How old like, was he? Like a little There's bit older a than me. Play. 
It's a Motown <laughs> Broadway play. Like, like, what are you talking about? Like, but it shouldn't even matter. Oscar nominated movie, and it shouldn't even matter because what they did from '55 to '72 and then '70. Come on, man. But Y'all got my, me started now. My whole thing was it shouldn't even matter how big it is if it's a Black History Month collection. It should be trying to uplift those stories. It should be trying to shine a light on those stories. Yeah, Black oh, History man. Month don't got shit to do with the Netherlands. Yeah, duh. What do you mean global? We're and I want to even this shit is all local, dude. You you don't I was, trust I was me. In the street. I was pushing drugs. I was in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like killing people. And then Smokey Robinson made a song <laughs> that got me off the streets. You was gangbanging. Like, hold on. Yeah, this I the was what? Gang duh. This the fucked up part. Up until you said Smokey Robinson, I believed you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, <laughs> I'm like, damn, this is I'm deep. Like, like you know, man. of course, of course, it, of course it, it took it took for another light skin dude to be able to get the light skin guy clean, right? Yeah, that's what made him relatable. Yeah, exactly. No, I was, but like for real, though, I'm sitting there like, man, like that's a story. Like he struggled. I was kind of scared. Then, I was it, actually kind of scared because I'm like, damn, yeah. this Bleacher Report notice. I'm like, damn, what's up, a background <laughs> check? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what type of background check is is Bleacher Report doing? <laughs> and then as, as soon as you said, as soon as you said Smokey Robinson, I was like, this son of a bitch. Like, <laughs> go back and watch the tape. I put my head down. Game banging. Like, I, no, I should have won a Grammy. I'm mad at his friends. Like, I'm mad at everybody that participated in filming that video because y'all knew that. Y'all, y'all knew what y'all was doing. Yeah, but they said the video was old. Yeah, it don't matter. It was, it was funny then. It's funny now. Hoodie. Man, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. If Smokey just, just has the chain all the time. You know, like somebody's gonna hear that song and be like, you know what, Smokey's right. <laughs> like, Smokey, Smokey out there, you know. Smokey was in the trenches. Man, hey man, I, he got robbed out the hood, so you know. Hey. Yeah, he did. Oh, he saved man. Rob's life. So, <laughs> well, you know, he lives in Detroit. So, if I see Smokey Robinson, I'm gonna let him know that you saved a young man's life. Yeah, He's not talking about sneakers. Yeah, I was only drinking that wine. I didn't do nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is drinking wine have to do with gang banging? We'll never know. Do gangsters drink wine though? That's what I'm trying to figure I mean, out. I guess you got to be a very sophisticated gangster. To like, drink if, wine. I guess if you're like you're an Italian gangster back in the 30s, yeah. Nah, well, you know, I, I I know what type of wine they probably drink. What? The Marilla. cheap wine. No, Carlo Rossi. They probably drink that. Red wine. Yeah. Nobody drink. They drink that at like weddings. Uh, well, gangsters still don't drinking go, wine. Oh, gangsters don't go to weddings. Man, look, you they do. They have thug weddings. Man, well, oh, man, you wow. married yeah, to the true. streets. That's a park. I, yeah, you yeah. married you married to the streets. So Jamil, I got a question for you because I was you know did, did a little research, and uh, I had this is one picture that made me laugh because I was like okay like I was trying to think of like a bio like a way to introduce you guys and I'm like comedian you know he's one half of a comedy juggathon, and then he's yes, obviously hey. obviously a lover of Olive Garden. Can we pull up that picture? We got. It. We got a Virgil over here. Right? Are you like Virgil? <laughs> I'm like, yo, like, <laughs> oh, that is the greatest. Balances. It, yeah, he's wearing his New Balances. Shout out to them. I'm like, if Olive Garden doesn't take this picture and run with it, yo, I forgot about it. This is like <laughs> the crazy thing is That's this is even like some. Uh, I've been making that pose. Uh, for a long, ever, long time. Ever since you got out the joint. No, yeah, I was gonna say yeah, you and every prisoner in uh... <laughs> Yeah. Once, once I got out of Spofford, uh, I, started, I got I started to stay low. Uh yeah, I just the fucking the Olive Garden in Glendale <laughs> was was under construction and they were just letting letting everybody know that you can still come through, get them breadsticks. I figured I'd spread the word. You know, actually, I love DC because I was the last time I was there I was like sneaker time. Breadsticks. No, nah, I, actually, I hate breadsticks. <laughs> but do you like the meat sauce? There's a mother joke there that I want to say <laughs> that I'm yeah. not going to say. I'm hey, you asking know, you a hey, legit question. Virgil, Virgil put out a real app. Yeah. About this. Yeah, okay. You saw the video I sent in the uh, chat, right? Yeah, I saw that. With Virgil, yeah. yeah like, I, can, can we please use that though? At some point. Oh, 
Uh, no, Wait, but Virgil I, made an ad for Olive Garden. Uh, like Virgil the wrestler. Yeah, not not <laughs> Abloy. Oh, oh, I was like, <laughs> 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 zip tie that's, on the bread. That's 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 how your napkin Wait, and your silverware gonna come together. Wait, it's gonna be a zip tie. Has, it up. has Virgil reached those levels yet? You know, you can say Oprah. You know who you're talking about. You can say Beyonce. You know who you're talking about. You know, like has he reached that level? You say Virgil, you just automatically think of him for I the new the, generation. Yeah, yeah, I think the wrestler. I was gonna ask y'all both: Have you guys been to both SneakerCon and ComplexCon? Have y'all experienced either one of them? I have been to both. One of the first things I did in DC, why well, was I had been doing stand up for a couple years, but I think I went to um, SneakerCon twenty fourteen, and okay. I did like a man on the street video. It was in the fucking. It was in the gym. Uh, GW's gym, the same gym where the Mystics were supposed to play a W <laughs> and the Jumbotron fell on the fucking court. What? But we was in there. Anyway, uh, that, yeah, I've been to Did that anybody get hurt? No, no. Luckily, the gym was empty. Sheesh. Well, it was a That's WNBA crazy. game. Um, oh, come on. It was too easy. It was right there. It was on an off night. They fe- it fell on a travel <laughs> day. <laughs> that, that was bold, man. Hey, Rod, that do me bold. a favor. Do not watch this interview when we play it back. Um, I seen you put up the more stuff that you got. That's from the Sherman Showcase. That's from the, from the yeah, television show. I'm yeah, on, I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. I was going to ask you about that. But first, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah, Boris Day posted it on his Instagram. That was one of the greatest feelings ever. No, shout to Morris Day. I, I love I, Morris I, well, Day. I couldn't yeah, tell if it was supposed Morris to be. Day. It looked like Morris Day mixed with Tiger, mixed with some Asian character, somewhat. Like it's a hodgepodge of individuals in one you know, photo. If you if y'all get a chance to, this is a show called um, Tour Bus, and it's. Made by the same guy yeah, that made. Tour bus. Like yes, yeah. yes, that I is man. Yeah. I was thinking about something else on a bus. No, that was some great stuff. But I was going to ask you about sneaker con <laughs> and complex <laughs> con. Y'all, y'all been to both, right? I have been I've to been both. I've been to complex con in LA. Yeah, Long Beach. In Long Beach, and then I've been to uh, I've been to sneaker pimps. I was at sneaker Hold pimps on. when uh, Big Boy my performed, con. and uh, uh, um. Let's see. I think I, that that might be it. That might be it. Which one do you prefer? Um, uh, Complex Con is crazy, but I feel like Sneaker Pimps was more about like the shoes. Complex right. Con is kind of like everything. Like you could go there and like Rachel Nichols is giving a talk, or you know you can go there. Rachel and, like, Nichols. Can your birds is happening? <laughs> do do we do we, well, okay. we want to hear Rachel? Hey, I was gonna say, like, who's for, signing up for that? For complex okay. kind of food's okay. a big thing too. It was a different time, when, when went, <laughs> even before went, that. Yeah, when I went, it was no, it was, it was hey, the jump was jumping when I went. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was man. A different time. Yeah. Did, did, yeah, did you happen to stick around Rachel after they were recording? Be there probably this year. Huh? You you stuck around after they were recording, and she started saying some uh, off the wall type stuff. Hey, hey, man, you know, honestly, what she said wasn't that bad. You know what I'm saying? It's what the dude said that was that was. I was going to say what he said was even worse, but she was the bigger name. So, you know, of course, she got the more of the focus. I felt what she was saying for the most part. Like there was that one part. It, it was should never be said, right? But the rest of it, it was like, yeah, y'all not gonna like give me no, you know what I'm saying? I got seniority. I done been here since the '90s. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Like he says that one, that one little part she added little, in there. <laughs> but that's what gave everything else context. Like, yeah. No, that's yeah. Real. And, yeah. Yeah. And then, and then her not checking dude when he was filing. That kind of yeah. that don't look good either. Cause, right. You know, so what? Do, okay, so what do you guys got coming up? I know you guys said season two was coming up next for Sneak This. I mean, shoot, we got uh, three more episodes. They come out every two weeks, so we still got six weeks of uh, the slow leaks. And y'all dropping oh, episodes man. like we drop a podcast. Yeah. Facts. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, give me our chance to breathe and post people bending shoes and, and cutting laces and you know. Yeah, the normal stuff that you're used to, and then every now and then you see a sketch, you know. 
All right, cool. Y'all got any any breaking news that y'all y'all got that y'all want to uh, release on the uh, show? The Wizards making the playoffs this year. Wow. <laughs> I made this hat. I made wow. This hat at this pointless upside down logo in sports. Wow. This is upside down. It now it just looks like a fucking Raptors hat. No, fr- you, you better listen, off with that nobody, Seattle Kraken hat. And listen, at first I thought you were joking about drinking wine, but now I'm starting to think that you probably drink too much of it. Listen, brother, Kuzma, welcome to the city. Welcome to Glizzy Mania. You have made it. We love you. Wow. Spencer Dinwiddie, please contact. Please return my emails. <laughs> I just want to talk. I only want to talk. Man. But no, I, I'm glad you guys made time for us. I'm glad that we were able to get you on the show. Hopefully, we can uh, get you guys back on the show in the future and we could collaborate and do some things in the future as well. Maybe do some skits oh, with y'all. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm selling this episode for five of them Ethereums, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hey. Hey, let me, let me, let me, let me do the selling, let me do the listings. Yeah, yeah. Well, hurry up and sell now. Hurry up and sell now. I'm determining the splits. That's all I'm going to say. Hey, Jamil. Hey, I got sketch ideas, NFTs. Jamil, let's do a bet. If the Wizards don't make the playoffs, you have to dye your hair like Dunks. That's a fool's bet. I might as well. Listen, if you're a real fan, hair. if you're a real fan, you know it should be no then question. What's the other, what, what happens when we do make the playoffs? You gonna dye yours? Dye your beard like that? <laughs> you know, you know what? Hey, no, okay, no, no, no. I get to be bet. the. I get to be the. Bet. I get to be the star of the show for the week. No, That's no, great. no. I want to see him. I want to see. He got to dye his. Yeah, hair. I want to see him dye his hair. Fine, bet. that too. Bet. Yeah. Okay, if they if they don't make the playoffs, and you, you can't dye your shave, hair. you can't shave your hair either. You got to do the beard. Yeah. No, I'm gonna do the beard. I'm gonna do the beard, half white, half dye black. Your beard. I'm gonna look ridiculous. But I mean, I feel safe in that bet. So we doing this? That's a deal. That's a bet. Virtual handshake. You could okay it. bet. Okay, I'm Wait, gotcha. you could spray it with the spray paint. It don't gotta be. You know, don't. I don't know about bleach on the face. It, but I mean, we can, hey, look, actually, after we can, a few we can, hours, we can do it live burns. on the show too. Because I mean, <laughs> where are we at? Hey, look, it is Bleacher you're, Report. You're, you're a fan, yeah. you know. <laughs> Emphasis on that. <laughs> we can do it live hey, on the show. Hey, look hey, where yeah. we're located. If at. Bleacher Report wants to collaborate, we can bleach my hair live whenever you guys. Why does it always have to be about dumb? But no, Jamel, we doing this though, right? Potential. Like, <laughs> if, if they <laughs> trying to make it, if they miss the playoffs, you got to dye your hair. If they make the playoffs, I dye my beard. Buddy, you got yourself a deal. We All right, bet that up. Bet. This is going public. So everybody's going to... The the hey. community is going to hold you accountable, sir. I feel like me and you I made did. a bet before, too. You never held, came through trying to do the bargain. What? No, Guru never held up to his bet when the, uh, he bet the Cavs were going to win that year and he was going to throw his uh, LeBrons in the uh, the Pacific Ocean and he never did. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. Out in the Bay Area. Is that the Pacific Oh, yeah, no, yeah, that's a, yeah. That's a yeah. Specific, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the dumbest bet, man. But we all know he wasn't gonna do it. But no, I, Jamil, I trust him. He's a man of his word. I can't wait to see you. Oh man, if, if, if my internet's out, I'll still do it. <laughs> Just send a picture. What LeBron? Yeah. No, you gotta come back in the show. You gotta come back in the show and unveil. No, nah, I'm with it, man. I'm just, once again, once I'll get my modem fixed, then I'll get <laughs> the hair up. <laughs> Man, nah, oh, I can't yeah. wait to see this. Not you give me a reason to watch this uh, this season. So, on that note, uh, glad to have you guys on once again. This is Rob Hayes and Jamel Johnson, the comedic duo of Sneak This. You can find them on Bleacher Report, BR Kicks, and uh, stay tuned to see us do some things in the future. They're like me and Gino, yeah, but more successful. Yes. Uh, yeah, basically, that's that's slam dunks in the future. What if what if a uh, playing tournament? What what does Jamel do with his hair, or is that? Oh no, nah, I'm counting playing tournament. We count the playing tournament. Okay, cool. Oh, we counting the bet. Now that's a smart bet on whoa, your part. Whoa, 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 that's a smart whoa, 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 bet on your part. Wait, hey, wait, so wait, Why is it so, why is it so yeah, terrible to have my hair hair style? It ain't terrible. You, it works for you. No, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna quote you on that. Home the, game and the play. Play-in tournament okay. doesn't count. Okay. That, that, technically, that, that, technically, that is the playoffs. No, we'll do real that's playoffs. How last time. That's how they got in last time through the play-in tournament. Yeah, technically, that's the playoffs. The eight is that so the playoffs? We had the eighth seed, but we had the eighth seed. So I would have counted it last year. Eighth seed, seed or eight higher. Seed. If you yeah. if you are a, if you make the bracket, 
I would dye my beard. Watch yeah. Brad. Watch I'm Bradley okay. Beer. Watch Bradley Beal had a, the 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 season <laughs> of his life. Man, I'm a, he gonna win MVP. Yeah. I'm going to DC I and Nancy Kerrigan. Somebody on the Wizards, but wow, uh, Lord, wow. <laughs> oh, no. But no, I'm glad you guys That's made time for us. No, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> No, I'm glad you guys made time for us. And uh, like I said, hopefully we get you guys back in the show and uh, we get some things done in the future. We'll be in touch. Sure. No, we appreciate y'all, man. Absolutely will. Sure. Thanks to y'all, man. Yep, appreciate y'all. Thanks, guys. All right, once As again, Rob, Jamil, one half of the uh, Sneak This duo. You can find them on Bleacher Report and BR Kicks. It's still not on, better than Slam Dunk. On YouTube. Oh, Jesus. Slam dunk on youtube uh, and on social media i don't even think we caught that we will get back to our regularly scheduled show